Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at several items on the sun. We've got a hurricane tracking towards Hawaii. We've got a few seismic notes to hit as well. And we'll look at a study on the AMOC collapse and see why it may have already begun. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where we find the last day was pretty quiet. No eruptive activities. Solar flaring stayed down in C-class range. We have one area of note that looks like it wants to start flaring bigger, so we're monitoring that today, and it's the northernmost sunspot group. Way up there, you see it distending back towards the incoming limb, and this is drawing magnetic interaction from the lead umbra. Let's watch that here. Look for the Spitfire sputtering plasma shots into the corona from that region. We're going to zoom in and see it one more time a bit better. We're watching that sunspot group closely here today. But in two days, geomagnetic storms are already expected to return due to the solar wind enhancement from this corona hole. Look how sharp those edges are. It's always wild how the sun can paint in straight lines. Eyes open for that solar wind amplification on September 6th. We're in the eastern Pacific next, where Kiko has strengthened into a major hurricane. It's dancing west-northwest here, right towards the island chain of Hawaii. It is expected to reduce power a bit before it arrives, but we'll need to monitor this one once the weekend comes and it begins to eye down a landfall. Seismic notes. Top quake of the last day was a six-pointer in Alaska. The Aleutian Island chain handles that pretty easily. Also a bit of a resurgence in the Nevada swarm though. Still monitoring this area after a quieter day before, the swarm is continuing. Also had a mini swarm a few days ago in Campy Flegri, world's scariest volcano in my book, but the last 48 hours have shown it calming back considerably. One of the big signs is when Flegri goes off, so hopefully that's still got some time. Last but not least, folks, excellent paper here suggesting that when the AMOC collapses, it propagates not from low latitude, but from the subpolar region of the North Atlantic and it propagates both north and south. So when the heat transport begins to collapse in the oceans, and it finally fails, we're going to first notice it in the northern reaches of the Atlantic Ocean, kind of like the mysterious, anomalous North Atlantic cold blob. Of course it would be here. This is where the heat would fail to reach if the AMOC collapses, and then the Beaufort Gyre cold freshwater release would take over the region. Folks, the AMOC collapse may be starting already. Folks, lots happening at Observer Ranch. Anyone coming to Founders Weekend and who wants to be part of the dinner with Dr. August Dunning, you definitely need to register earlier for that one. All the events are listed at ObserverRanch.com. You can register for them and book your stay as well. We'd love to see you out there. Love to shake your hand. And no, I'm not salty in person, ever. ObserverRanch.com. And we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.